Hi, I'm Dr. Tiffany with Twin City Health, and today I want to go over some tips on healing your digestive system. So if you struggle with any issues like constipation, diarrhea, bloating, and just overall gas or reflux, that's a sign that you might have a stressed out gut. So the first tip is starting with an anti-inflammatory diet. You want to first remove damaging foods. One of those foods could be sugar. Sugar, yes, in, in refined sugar or sweets and things like that, but go a step further and look at even the condiments like ketchup and some mayos or some condiments in restaurants. They can be riddled with sugar. The next one is grains. Grains definitely create inflammation in your gut and wreak havoc. So something that's also considered a grain is some breads, um, oatmeal, and also rice. So instead, you might want to replace your rice with maybe some cauliflower rice. So it's purely cauliflower, just rice, and then you can add your own seasoning. The next thing is refined oils, uh, something like canola oil or even vegetable oil. Those are rancid oils that can create free radicals in your body and oxidative stress. and um, it just creates more inflammation all over. So you want to replace those with coconut oil, grass-fed butter, even avocado oil. Um, and cooking at high heats, you would definitely want to use more of the coconut oil because it's more solid at room temperature. And if you cook with extra virgin olive oil or avocado oil, you want to keep that at a lower temperature. So you're removing the bad stuff and then you're replacing it with good stuff. One of the best things you can add into your diet is bone broth. It's called liquid gold for a reason. It helps seal leaky gut. So when you have leaky gut, you have all the symptoms, you have the constipation, diarrhea, all that digestive stress. So in order to heal it, drinking, leaky, or drinking bone broth can help seal the cells of your gut and that way you're absorbing the nutrients you're supposed to keep inside your body and eliminating all waste and avoiding any autoimmunity in your body. The next thing is eating and incorporating healthy fats. So things like avocados, uh, again, coconut oil, grass-fed butter, even chia seeds if you've ever heard of those. Those are all high in something called alpha lipoic acid, which is also known as ALA, and that helps with your brain, food fuel to your brain, and also with memory. So it not only helps your gut, but it helps your brain. And that goes into our next one, because there's a gut-brain connection, you want, to, you want to get adjusted with chiropractic care. Now, chiropractic care can take the pressure off the nerves that go to your digestive system and help heal your gut. And through that, your gut actually houses 80% of your immune system and it talks directly to your brain. So as you heal your gut, get adjusted through chiropractic care, you're actually increasing and helping your own memory. Number three, is eating a good probiotic. So the first way you can do that, we always say in our office, food first. So the number one fermented food that has probiotics in it with the most strains is sauerkraut. And the best way you can do that is by consuming four tablespoons of raw sauerkraut a day. So if anyone's ever been on an anti, um, excuse me, an antibiotic for a period of time, it's good once you're done with that antibiotic to just follow up with four tablespoons of sauerkraut for like a week just to replenish the good bacteria in your gut. Um, the next way you can do it if you know for a fact that you have very damaged gut is to supplement. In our office we have a probiotic that we like to use and that has 50 billion strains of probiotic in it. The best thing about this supplement is it's the best when it comes to absorption for your gut and it also, um, and it also has a lot of differing strains in it, and that's really healthy just to get thousands and millions and even billions of different strains in your gut because that diversity helps digest um, your food better. And then the last thing is, is there's, uh, there's also research that shows when you have gratitude over your food, it actually increases your digestive system, your digestive enzymes, getting it ready to actually digest the food. So people who pray over their food, their stomachs start to growl and their stomachs start to increase those digestive enzymes in their mouth and also in their stomachs. And that just prepares your body for the food that you're about to eat. And it also helps overall digestive system. So I hope that you find these tips very helpful. And if you have any questions, comment below or contact our office at Twin City Health. Thanks for tuning in.